Okay, check this out. This is. Ah, uh, must be just a good day. Veg sauce uploaded. Jeff Nelson uploaded this one. It's cure type two diabetes of sugar white rice. McDougal gets on point. McDougal gets on point with the sugar. Look at his face. He means business. Let's listen to this. I'm going to sit back. I'm going to play the video. I'm going to share my comments and criticisms afterwards. Listen up. Diabetes I've learned in this conference is caused by fat clogging the receptors and not so much by sugar. Does the glycemic index have any meaning? I don't put a lot of stock in it at this point. If you eat a whole food, love, uh, a <lacht> just okay, alle auf, auf McDougal geguckt haben ne? und gewartet haben. Uh, uh, Chef, willst du was sagen? Quickly, look at nervous clack. I don't put a lot of stock in it at this point. If you eat a whole food, love, uh, a <lacht> just quickly, look at nervous clapper is. He, he he sees he feels. Look at McDougal's body language. He's like. He's tilting his his head's tilting away from Clapper. He's like, I don't know this fucking Clapper clown. And look at Clapper's body language. He's sort of like arching up here. He's defending. He can feel. After that, I heard. I don't know this Clapper clown. Eh, that is a Clapper, ne? Clapper clown. Oh, that was so hard. Eh. Was, look at McDougal's body language. He's like, he's tilting his his head's tilting away. From Clapper, he's like, I don't know this fucking Clapper clown. <laughs> and look at Clapper's body language. He's sort of like arching up here. He's defending. He can oh feel McDougal with disapproval. His hands going up. He's getting ready for the the bitch slap. He's like, Oh my god, I'm <laughs> I'm siding with Dr. Gregor. I'm just gonna get bitch slapped by McDougal. And McDougal's just like down, looking bitch slap. Shalalings. Down. His body language is like disappointed. This if this guy was my son, I would have banned him right now. And you can sort of see that, feel that here. You look at the body language, just as a classic frame. Anyway, let's listen to it. A whole food, plant-based diet, uh, nothing's going to shoot your, in, your, your blood sugar up. It's the refined uh, carbohydrates that get us in trouble. And uh, if you hold your fruit moderate, like Dr. McDougall said, uh, the whole grains have such a, an easy uh, glycemic curve to them that you're not... Ja, vor allem hier der Klapper, ne? der redet hier voll den Mist zusammen, gerade. Bis jetzt alles, was er gesagt hat, war falsch. Weder hat McDougal das eine gesagt, noch sind das die uh, Refined Carbs. Komplett völliger Nonsens, was er hier erzählt. Ist auch, glaube ich, das einzige Mal, wo, wo man äh, von dem das Falsche hört. Keine Ahnung, was ihn da geritten hat an der Stelle. Aber der wird gleich berichtigt werden von äh, McDougal persönlich. And I never really pay attention to it. And the, well, the glycemic index also is for individual foods. And ja, das, was er jetzt sagt, ist richtig, ja. Nobody really eats individual food. You eat a whole meal, and it's a matter of what that whole glycemic load is. So the whole concept is pretty minimal. Ach, das mit glycemic load, uh, absoluter Nonsens. Glycemic load, das ist noch schwachsinniger als glycemic index. A glycemic load geht von einer Menge aus, von irgendeiner Menge. Eat whole uh, plant-based food. McDougal can't wait. Ja, McDougal, ne? was für ein Gesicht er schon macht. Und der denkt sich gerade, Alter, Klapper, was redest du da für ein Zeug zusammen? Oh my god, this dude, this clown, what the fuck is this clown doing up here? What's he doing? <laughs> this clown, eh? Dieser verdammte Clown, eh? Was redet er da? Oh my god. <laughs> what up here? <laughs> you got the old mate on the end going, okay, what's the Badoogle going to say? And this guy here, is that lot? Who's that? It's a gold hammer or someone? Look at Badoogle going. Right? Alle wissen, wer der Boss hier ist, eh? Alle wissen, wer der Boss ist. Oh, so good. Alright, let's, let's start the party. Let's start the party. Body language. Jetzt wird korrigiert. Language, the hands are up. He's still thinking, you know. But do going to slap me. Let's listen up. Foods, enjoy lots of fresh fruits and veggies, and uh, and you ought to do fine. I wouldn't worry about it. This is this is one of the most important thing for uh, the consumer and scientists and medical doctors to get straightened out, and it should have been straightened out in the 1920s, when a fellow by the name of Percival Hemsworth published his basic research in. It was all published by 1940 in the British Medical Journal, and it's just no question about it. Fat, we're talking about pig fat, cow fat, olive fat, paralyzes insulin, increases insulin needs, carbohydrate, including pure white sugar. Ja, das sagt er genau das hundertprozentige Gegenteil von ihm. Der sagt, refined carbs sind das Problem. Und er sagt jetzt, refined carbs sind die Lösung. 
Und der ist am Nicken. Er gibt keinen Sinn. Ich bin gespannt, die alle zuhören. <lacht> die kauschen an ihren Fingern rum. Oh ja, oh, ist das wirklich so interessant? Oh. Ja, Klapper ist lost. Der widerspricht ihm gerade zu 100% und er ist am Nicken. Ja, ja, du hast absolut recht, so ist das. Jetzt müsste der eigentlich sagen, ja, was redest du da? Das sind die Refined Carbs das Problem. Natürlich sagt er jetzt nichts. He made a synthetic diet, 45% sugar and then double white sugar, multidextrose, plain table sugar, doubled it to 85% white sugar. Every aspect of the diabetes improved. Walter Kempner, back in the 40s and 50s, published his results on treating type 2 diabetics with rice, table sugar, fruit and juice. And Kempner knew back in the 50s ist immer noch am nicken. that sugar makes insulin work better. Oh, better. Oh, it works better. Ach, das kann doch nicht die Wahrheit sein. Cures diabetics. But you see, we've got it entirely backwards these days, thinking sugar causes diabetes. You know, it's just, it's so backward and bizarre. Nobody stands a chance. So, ja, das ist so bizarr, alles 100% umgedreht und keiner hat eine Chance, was dagegen zu machen. Weil wenn 99,99% der Menschheit glaubt, es kommt von Zucker, kannst du nichts machen. We gotta get this one simple fact down that has been established. Even in diabetes care two years ago, they took type 1 diabetics They dramatically increased their white sugar intake and decreased the insulin needs of type 1 diabetics. You know, it's always been the same, but everybody knows different. Don't eat potatoes, turns to sugar, makes you fat, gives you diabetes. It's exactly the opposite. That's what Dr. Greger says, sugar causes obesity, type 2 diabetes, excess carbs turn to fat, turns to obesity. Dr. Greger, please, please, Dr. Greger, please do a response video to this one, please. In terms of ultimate disease outcome. Imagine I, I use the uh, analogy. First off, that's why I stopped art. So that's that's basically it. Uh, last bit. Ja, das nennt man rasiert. Thank you. Type 2 diabetes is 100% curable. You need to know that. So, and uh, it's a matter it's a matter of changing diet, but it's also a matter of losing weight. And unfortunately, every uh, people are so confused. Not genau, du musst ja Gewicht verlieren, ne, wegen intrazellulärem Fett. Du musst ja das Fett loswerden. The science is confused. It's just the practitioners are confused. So there you go, that's the deal right there. Oh. <lacht> ich krieg's immer noch nicht mehr aus dem Kopf, ey. Äh, wie hat er gesagt? Klapperclown, ey. <lacht> oh my god. Das ist so fies, ey. Boom. You know, that's why I get, uh, that's why I've had so much success with type 2 diabetics. I've, I've been coaching over the last 18 years. I knew about this stuff 18 years ago when I was reading Dr. McDougall's books and The Food Revolution by John Robbins back in 2001. So, you know, fat paralyzes insulin, white rice, sugar, fruit, the highest sugar things out there. Good for diabetics. Uh, it's just a fat though. People have a, a Mars bar, which is 50% calories and fat, and then they have diabetic complications in terms of insulin resistance and they blame the, the sugar in the Mars bars, the fat. Mm, and that's what he said, right? That's so original, geil. Menschen essen diese ganzen Riegel, Snickers, Mars und sowas, kriegen Diabetes, ne? Und dann stellen die fest, die Riegel machen das schlimmer und dann schieben die es auf den Zucker. Well, die Schokoriegel, die bestehen zu 60% aus Fett. Oops. Take out the uh, fat in the Mars bar and you're left with sugar. Fruit, basically. Mars bar is a banana without the fat, with the fat. So this is just the craziness here. The contradictions are real. Dr. Greger drops the ball. McDougal owns Dr. Greger. And then I click back. That's just the truth. You know, that's just the truth right there. So I'd love to see McGregor, Conor McGregor, McGregor get in the ring with McDougal having debates. Give the video a thumbs up if you'd like to see that. Be fantastic. Uh, I know Gregor wouldn't get on debate with me because he, he likes to pretend that, uh, 
you know, myself and McDougal don't exist and pretend that, uh, you know, that sugar's the culprit, carbs are the culprit. But otherwise, McDougal there has just cleaned it up, owned it. Done deal. So if you do have anyone with diabetes type 2, get them off the fat. Simple as that. And uh, watch a few more of these videos. It's very, very basic. Fat paralyzes insulin. Sugar increases insulin sensitivity. The more sugar you eat, the better your diabetes control will be. Simple as that. And there's a guy out there, type 1 diabetes, Robbie Barbaro. He he eats almost a pure sugar diet. And check out his channel, Robbie Barbaro. Done and dusted. Sugar cures diabetes. Fat causes it. The science is there. Take it or leave it. You can disagree with us, but you're still going to be wrong. Simple as that. Jason Fong, no idea. Yep. Nope.